Hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, of course you can join me. Mm -hmm. You sure do look cozy. Are you sure you're going to be warm enough in that, though? Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> of course, get over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, just let me help you relax, okay? Oh, I've been working so hard to remind you. Mm, that silly mind of yours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of work. Just thinking. That's why you should stop thinking and just let me touch you. Mm -hmm. You don't mind me touching you, right? Mm -hmm. I'll be nice. I'll be decent. Don't worry. I'm gonna be sleepy too, so. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for me. <sighs> Mm. Mm. Oh, my belly's making funny noises. Mm. Yeah, you've done great. Mm. You're so soft. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you're so soft. I love touching you. Hmm. Mm, you're never gonna not let me touch you, right? Mm -mm -mm, you keep me here with you forever, right? Forever, right? Mm -hmm. I love touching you. Yeah, you can scratch me right there. Yeah, just... Uh. <laughs> I like God. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you need to relax, okay? <laughs> you just need to relax. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, you like to be cozy with me, don't you? You can just hear in my arms. So nice. Mm -hmm. Feel my hands. My shoulder. Uh -huh. My neck. You're so good at relaxing. Thank you for relaxing with me. Thank you for letting me. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Of course. the dishes today and mm, cleaned the coffee machine mm, it's always nice when it's tidy in there mm-hmm. makes me happy mm, mm, you make me happy of course every day just existing you make me happy You hear that click? Oh, my neck has many sounds. I'm trying not to crack too much <laughs> by moving. You see, I haven't oiled up my joints. Mm. Us robots have to get our oil changed once in a while, you know? Beep boop. <laughs> Of course, you're right. <laughs> so silly. What? Me? <laughs> I'm not silly. What are you talking about? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
think we're going to go to the moon again? No, not us. I mean people. I mean, I don't know whether or not we did. I assume we did. It makes sense that we did compared to, you know, all the data, all the sources. But still, I I don't know. I, I look up at that big rock sometimes and I'm a little terrified at the fact that it's just a big rock that's floating around the earth. It's beautiful. It's actually really beautiful. But to think that one day we'll look up at it and we might see on the dark side of it, you know, how the moon has faces and sometimes it's only a little bit visible. What if, like, the lights of a city illuminated the dark side when we look up? If we could look up at the moon and I could point and show someone and be like, oh, yeah, that's that city and you can see how it connects to that other city and wouldn't that be incredible? Do you think that's going to happen in the next hundred or so years? I think it could be incredible if we had people living up there. I don't know why you would want to live up there for the cloud maybe <laughs> no but seriously people keep talking about wanting to live on Mars and the moon and like people don't live out in the desert here on earth and the desert here on earth is more habitable why would you want is it just because it's out in space I suppose it's because it's out in space being in a desert here is just being in a desert there's no mystery to it but Maybe people get bored of being on the moon. Would you get bored of being on the moon? Of course you wouldn't be bored if I was there. We have so many things we could be doing on the moon. Imagine the zero-g cuddles. Or, not zero-g, I guess it's just zero-point-something-g. Low gravity. Mm. Mm Mm-mm. <laughs> Fun, huh? <laughs> you relax now. Close your eyes. And imagine low 